Good evening and welcome to the first episode of the zine of the decade. I'm Julia. I'm Maggie. And I'm Lexi. Today is a very important day, not only because it is our first episode of the semester, but it's also International Women's Day. So the power panel will be celebrating the influential women in our lives. Well, not like necessarily our lives, but just women that influence us. Mm -hmm. So the woman who I want to recognize as someone influential for me is Frida Kahlo. Kahlo is a Mexican painter known for her portraits, self-portraits, and work inspired by nature. Kahlo explored concepts of identity, gender, class, and race in Mexican society. All right, so I don't know much about Frida Kahlo. I'm not gonna lie. I I'm love her. Very... She's so cool. If you guys ever go to like TJ Maxx, I've got a lot of Frida stuff at yeah, TJ Maxx. Really she's the one with the unibrow. Yes. Yeah. And I she like the flowers in her hair, unibrow. and usually like earrings. Yeah, I've got like a big poster of her above my bed, and whenever anybody walks in my room, oh, really? they're like, mm, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> but I think she's so cool. I just think she's so inspiring. I think she was like a big promoter of self-love before yes. it was kind of like popular. Right. Mm -hmm. So much of her work is just of herself. And I just think she's so inspiring. Oh, so now, yeah. do you do you paint as well? Or? No, oh, okay. I wish. <laughs> but I like to write. I like. I think it's like important to kind of like channel yes. your experiences, especially for women, to like channel our experiences as women into like art. And I just love the way she did that. I think it sounds awesome. Wow, that was really inspiring. <laughs> the way you just said it, it made it sound. I love that. Um, so with Frida, she's known for her unibrow. Mm -hmm. um, is that like become an icon? Like. Is that like I think the unibrow is definitely like kind of a big symbolic mm -hmm. figure. I agree. Like it's, she just doesn't care. Right. Like, it's just she's like this is me. This is who I am. Yeah. I yeah. love that. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is really embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the only woman I could like come up with that I was like okay. Um, the one I would like to recognize is Kylie Jenner. In my opinion, <laughs> she is a very strong, independent woman. Though she was born into fame, she seems very humble, down to earth. <laughs> She's an incredible mother. See, look at that picture. Look at yeah, she looks so down to earth. Julia, there. you couldn't have found a better picture. <laughs> I think she looks really good. I don't know. She, she looks, looks empowered. She, she, she yeah, looks she empowered. Is, she is very confident. Even though she kind of came from money, she is somewhat of a girl boss and like mm -hmm. a role model for all these girls who like want to, you know, be, yeah. be a <laughs> business owner. Like, you know, like you don't have to own your own makeup line because I'll never be able to do that mm -hmm. but like I want to be able to know that if I am really passionate about something I'm not like famous already so I don't have the platform to yeah. but like and she's like mm -hmm. our age isn't she yeah she's around our age. age and she's like a great mom like I don't know her personally yeah mm -hmm. but from what I see on social media she's no a definitely mom. a phenomenal businesswoman phenomenal entrepreneur like nobody can argue that her right. marketing mm -hmm. like whoever, I don't know if it's her her marketing team whoever she works mm -hmm. with pretty pretty on point yeah honestly. so like she didn't really like change anything she's not really like a crazy yeah. like but but she's carefree she's my girl you know? she does what she wants she's yeah. she's who she is she doesn't care about what people think so go kylie <laughs> <laughs> and now for the woman that i chose last but certainly not least one of my greatest inspirations is nelly bly she was a 19th century journalist among other things which is incredible for her time editors were not too keen on having a woman write as a columnist columnist so she was challenged to go undercover in a mental institution and write about what she experienced she wrote the book Ted Nays in a Madhouse, which led to immense amounts of societal reform. And just a fun fact, she made it around the world in 72 days. Wow. Yeah, she did everything. And, you know, as a, as a journalist, as someone trying to go into the communication field, seeing that she could do it in, like, the eight, late 1800s, that's absolutely incredible. That you know? is, like, you guys just picked so many great cultural <laughs> Especially icons. Especially Nellie Bly was so young. Yeah, she was like a teenager when mm -hmm. she did that. Yeah, she it, was crazy. Like she got, I think the job offered to be a columnist at first because she wrote a letter to the editor anonymously, and they were like, "This is amazing. Your writing is so great." And they're like, "Oh, she's a woman." <laughs> never mind. <laughs> yeah, never mind. But she still, she did it. She fought against the odds. Like she made it, you know. And she legitimately like went to a mental institu institution as a patient just to go. Yeah, undercover. she went undercover. Yeah, and the things she saw were insane. Like they were, just, they were like. Disgusting. Bad conditions. Like. Yeah, and then because of her book, um, you know, society changed not not immensely, but you know, right, it changed enough that she made a difference. Yeah, so which like, is super cool. And I mean, mental health is just becoming so much more of like an issue that we're talking about yeah. now, and so it's like really important. I guess she kind of like, I mean, it's taken so long, but she led the whole discussion <laughs> and yes. really like paved the way for, you know mental health issues and yeah, definitely. around the world. And she traveled around the world in so many days. Just to flex, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick flex, it's yeah. fine. It's fine, no big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned because after the break, we'll take a look at what's trending on Twitter. You're watching The Zine on WTOP 10.
Welcome back to our season premiere of The Zine. Right now, we're going to take a look at what's going on in the Twitter world. Julia, what did you find? Well, for the past few days, my boy Post Malone has been trending on Twitter, but not necessarily for anything good. Videos of Posty seeming very out of it while performing at concerts have been going viral. I first saw the videos on TikTok, but they shortly spread to Twitter. One video in particular has fans worried. We have a clip of it here um, coming up. It's from him performing I Fall Apart, um, but at a concert last night in Memphis, he said he was all right and, quote, not on drugs and feels the best he ever had in his life. So looking at this video, um, it's a lot. It made me really upset. I don't know what's going on. Um, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know if that's just, like, who he is as a performer. Like, I've yeah. never really seen him, like, seen videos of him performing. I know he's kind mm -hmm. of out there. Yes. I've seen clips from like past concerts and everything and he's, you know, into it and everything. This is like a whole new level of like weird. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like it's hard to tell, especially like what Lexi said. I've never like seen him live. Mm -hmm. But I think people are just, especially fans, are sensitive to these issues. Because yes. we've seen a lot of like young stars mm -hmm. dying. And right. It's scary. Yeah, from, you know, I mean, Amy Winehouse is like an old I love Amy Winehouse. Example, but, yeah. but I mean, not old, but it was a few years ago. Yes. And people are like comparing it to her and like how yeah. she was like so successful and then, then like, you know, that whole yeah, thing. Yeah, and when you yeah. saw her videos towards the end, like you could tell something was off, you yeah. know, and it's kind of mimicking what we just kind of are seeing with Post Malone. Well, hoping for the best with too. Post. Yeah, definitely. Another major Twitter trend right now is daylight savings. Last night, the clocks went forward an hour, meaning we finally have some longer days. So spring is coming, but were both of you prepared to lose an hour of sleep? No. I didn't even know that it was happening. I, I got home last night, and my dad was like, oh, make sure you get to bed early. I'm like, why? And he was like, because you're losing an hour of sleep. Not like it like matters to me, because like, yeah. I. I don't know. I guess I don't notice <laughs> the effects of it that much. Yeah. But. I know. Like, I woke up late when I looked at my clock. I was like, oh my gosh, it's 12 30. Mm -hmm. Which is, I mean, 11 30 still. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean. but, and then, like, driving here, I was like, oh, it's 5 o'clock. I was like, what am I doing? And then I was like, that, oh, it's 6 o'clock. That was me yeah. on my way to work today. I, oh, really? Like, I had to work at 11, and I was like, I left my house at 10 30, like I normally do. And I was like, oh my God, it's 9 30. Like, <laughs> I, I was about to sit in my car for like an hour and just like hang yeah. out. I was like, good thing I didn't, because I looked at my phone and I was like, oh, maybe. Yeah, I was here. I was awake at like midnight or whatever. I went shortly after but I was waiting for it to go to like two but I didn't realize it ch it changed from like 159 to three or whatever yeah it, I thought it was at midnight so I was like it's not happening I don't know what's happening I have the day wrong the like, savings is not happening some, for me yeah like, some states are just like canceling daylight savings are they really Which, I don't I, think oh. that's you can't cancel it within a state <laughs> that's what it's I just I saw it on Google and I they don't were believe like, that maybe it was Twitter I don't, <laughs> I don't, know. don't think that. trending on Twitter obviously. I would cancel the it. logistics of that they just don't make sense. So what, people don't in Minnesota, me. like it's still 5.30 there? I, it's 6 o'clock there? Ask so. Twitter. I don't know. It's a trending Twitter topic. Ask them. Okay. In other news, I'm super excited because Katy Perry has been trending since she announced she was pregnant, which is a huge deal. Love Katy Perry. She recently dropped a music video showing off her baby bump and then confirmed the pregnancy during an Instagram Live. Here's a picture of her. She's like obviously very pregnant, so this yes. isn't something new. Um, but it will be her <laughs> and Orlando Bloom, her fiance. It's going to be their first child together. She has not officially said when she's due, but she has hinted she may be having a summer baby. And by the looks of it, by the looks of that picture, yes, she looks like she's yeah, kind of she's far along. She, yeah, not far along, but mm -hmm. I feel like a summer baby is definitely. Mm -hmm. And she is like, I feel like Katy Perry's personality. Like I feel like yeah. summer baby is like so her. Yeah, <laughs> like. And I don't know what the gender is. Did she ever? I don't think. I don't, I don't think, think she said she, the gender. No. Mm -hmm. But I hope it's a girl, and I hope mm -hmm. she like dresses her up and like. Well, eccentric. Orlando Bloom already has a son. With I Miranda believe. Yeah. Yes, with his first wife. Mm -hmm. So, so he has be, a son. So yeah, it would be yeah. the first daughter for both of them. Yeah, it would be, be really like sweet. super fun. Mm -hmm. She seems so excited about it. I, I'm fine. Like on her Instagram, she's yeah, freaking out. Her music out. video is really sweet. Yeah, Did you guys watch beautiful. the music video? Yeah, I watched the music yeah, so video. So her and Orlando Bloom seem very much in love. So yeah, that's I'm nice. Cool. Very happy for her. Mm -hmm. Do you know when their wedding is? Because they're engaged, right? Yeah. I, Probably so after they have a baby. Who wants to get married when like you're super I wouldn't. Pregnant? I wouldn't. Can't get drunk at your wedding. Can't get drunk. No. That's so true. Yeah. All right, Julia. <laughs> Coming up after the break, we will be teaching you how to make your favorite St. Patrick's Day beverage. You're watching, you're watching The Zine on WTOP10. Welcome back to The Zine. Tonight, we're going to be making our own DIY shamrock shakes. So here are some of the ingredients that you will need for the shamrock shake if you guys um, 
have some mint extract. You'll need some of that. Um, a blender, obviously. Some vanilla ice cream. Some green food coloring. And it says half and half, but we just went with 2% milk. Um, so hopefully that's going to be okay <laughs> and it's still going to taste good. I just couldn't see myself putting half and half, half in a milkshake. Yeah. Oh, what was that? I mean, okay, I mean it's a milkshake. You yeah. Know? It's not a half and it's half It's just shake. like right there in the word. Yeah. I think it'll be I yeah, feel like so you milk, made the right milk shake. Okay, yeah. I thought you were making fun of me because I didn't buy half and half. Oh, no. But um, if you guys remember, um, if you're fan. fans of the <laughs> zine, mm -hmm. in um, the first semester we made, we painted our own little mason jar. Mm -hmm. So we brought them we back did. and we are going to be using it. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do, we didn't like bring any measuring cups or anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I think we're just going to kind of wing it. Um, we have our 2% milk. Oh, Why'd okay. you pick two percent? Just for you I know. feel like um, because that's what I get at Starbucks. Oh. <laughs> it's two percent milk. Okay. So should I not have gotten that? I can move this. So people can see better. There we go. Okay. No, that's a ton of milk. Milk. That's too much. That's. I feel like we can always add more. You okay. Know? Yeah. Okay. You know what? We can always add more. Okay. Um, Let me move. This is first. mint ice cream a thing? I know there's mint chocolate yes. chip. Can you just buy? I'm, I'm sure you so. can, but yeah, I you love can it. probably find it McDonald's if you're trying to skip a step. Um, next, we're gonna just put in some ice cream. We, yeah, you can skip the whole mint step if you want. Wow. Here, I got you. Okay. So oh. use plastic spoons <laughs> if you're looking for a challenge. <laughs> if you don't feel like going to get, do you mind? Uh, yeah, of scrape? course. Julia's my scraper. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. Okay, go, go, go get some more ice cream. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yes, Megs, that was a good scoop. That was really good. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh. She's going right. It's okay. It's okay. She got so it. Much <laughs> I didn't know. How it's much actually this is a pretty good consistency of ice cream. Yeah. For this. Yeah. So it's a little bit melted. Shout out to Liam Healy, chief meteorologist yes. of WTOP10, <laughs> for going We're and getting, us getting ice our ice cream. You're the best. You can have the milkshakes when they're done. You know. You yeah. Got it. You deserve one. You totally deserve it. Yep. Here we go. So I have not had a shamrock shake. I think I've had like one in my life like two years ago. What? They have yeah. shamrock McFlurries now too. Really? I've only had one McFlurry in my life as well. Okay. I'm pretty sure. That I'm um, definitely more of a chocolate milkshake kind of girl. I'm not gonna lie. I love chocolate milkshakes. Yeah. Maggie's I getting a like lot. Of ice You're cream. so good at this. <laughs> you know. This is Maggie's calling. <laughs> Maggie used to be an ice cream scooper. No, I'm kidding. I don't. No, my sister's Sorry. an ice cream scooper. Maybe Perfect. it like you, you, you got runs it. in our genes. I yes. feel like we maybe like a couple more scoops. Yeah. And then we're gonna put in the food coloring, the vanilla extract. Maybe. Oh, you got this. Look oh, there that. we go. Now you can Ooh. actually. Oh. oh no, you got. You want? You need assistance? A little team effort? No. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna work. touch it. I hope that's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Whatever. Okay, I think that's good. Okay. okay. I think that's good. Cool. So um, there is that. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of mint extract because Ooh. I don't want it to be too minty because what I've noticed is that at McDonald's, they put a lot of mint. I love mint. In their, but it's not real mint and you can oh. tell that it's fake. Oh, so, okay. So do you like that or do you not like no, that? No, I don't. Okay. So that's an issue for me. Is this, is this peppermint, mint? It's just What's mint. It? Okay. Okay, that's a lot. It's probably packing. It's fine. And then do we add this now or and do then, we wait? Yeah, we're gonna okay. add it in now. Just a few drops. Just give it that St. Patrick's Day vibe. Yeah, one, two, three, four. One. That's good. <laughs> as many as you're feeling, you know. All right, and now, if you have a blender, you can use that. But we are going to use this magic bullet. Um, I think I got it at like Kohl's or something. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna do this, and then we'll come right back, and we're gonna drink them, and they're gonna be amazing. So stay with us. <laughs> All right, well, guys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Welcome back to the zine. Now that we're finished with our shamrock shakes, we're going to answer some questions that were sent in by our colleagues. In a second. In a minute. But first, <laughs> we are going to uh, pour our shakes, and we are going to garnish it with this whipped light cream. Um, so during the break, we blended it up for us, and we got this nice green shamrocky color. Yeah, they look like good. A they look like the ones from McDonald's. The camera, but they really do look it looks like a shamrock accurate. Shake, yeah. All right, so Maggie, here we go. I'm excited. Oh, it's a little, a little chunky. Maybe we didn't <laughs> blend it for long enough, but that's okay. It's okay. You learn these things, you know? So there's that. How does the, um, oh, okay. 
So then when you get at McDonald's, you put the whipped cream, they get a little cherry too, right? So yeah, like red we didn't and green get vibe. the cherries. Okay. We stink. No, we're fine. It's okay. But we don't need them because we're awesome. Nope. All right. Can move this we're going to need a way. napkin at the end of this. <laughs> Oh, Julia just didn't That's get okay. a lot. That's okay. Well, we'll give her extra whipped cream. Okay. We'll okay. give her what? Thank you. Mainly whipped cream. So you got your whipped cream. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Here you Yo. go. Look at that. And, like, that literally took five minutes. Yeah, that's very easy. easy. Super easy. Oh, super fun. I'm not going to fill it up. Oh, I kind of did. I did. I lied. She did. I did. Okay. okay. Thank you. Put the little cap on. So I'm actually gonna take this off because I don't want yeah, the cap. Yeah, oh, that's to smart. It. Yeah. But All right. here we cheers. Go. Here's to oh, the last cheers. 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 for us. Oh my gosh. I'm glad we're using our little basin Me right too. Though. They taste like a shamrock shake. It's Does it? Minty. Is this what it tastes like? It's a little minty, but I honestly yeah. don't think it's that different. I don't. I don't have much to go off. I mean, like I like it. I, it kind of tastes more like. Um, kind of milky. The yeah, like the burned dairy. Don't they do like Oh yeah, the they do the mint green um, milk. Mint milk. Tastes kind of yeah. like, still good though. But honestly, I'm impressed. Yeah. <laughs> With what we had, we didn't really use any measurements. We just kind of threw it all together. Yeah. And honestly, that's you felt the best the, way to make milkshake. Yeah. yeah, we felt it. It's from <laughs> our hearts. It is. <laughs> Which is like the best thing. So, if you guys want to make a shamrock shake, delish.com. That's where we got the recipe. It has mm -hmm. all the instructions that you mm -hmm. need. It has all the stuff that you need, so make sure you go check it out. Yeah. After the break, we're going to be answering some of your guys' questions, so stay tuned. Welcome back to The Zine. Now that we're sipping on our delicious shamrock shakes, we're going to answer some of the questions that were sent in by our colleagues. As the class of 2020 prepares for graduation, what is your advice on relationships and career paths? How do I balance a successful relationship while focusing on my next step? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the most qualified to give advice. I haven't even graduated. However, I would say, I don't know. The first thing that you do might not wind up be what, why, whoa. The first thing that you do might not wind up being what you're gonna do for the rest of your life. So like, don't mm -hmm. feel stuck or like you have to commit like right away, like I gotta get a job in media, I gotta get mm -hmm. a job in broadcasting. Like sometimes it takes time fall into place and that's okay mm -hmm. right yeah and I don't think that you should be focused on anyone else at this point like Agreed. if you're in a relationship that's amazing but if they're pressuring you to stay here when you don't want to stay here yep. if they're acting in some way or doing something that like maybe you know in your heart that you have to take this next step mm -hmm. and you're like maybe you get offered a job that you're really passionate about and if they're yeah. holding you back I mean if they're willing to do like a long distance thing if you're <laughs> moving or if they're willing to like make it work with you, then I think that would be awesome. But I don't think that you should wait or like no. put your life on hold. Yeah, I for think anyone right else. now is definitely like a really important time in our lives to focus on ourselves. Mm -hmm. And like if you're in a relationship, great. I mean, I'm talking like I know, I really don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like I think you have yeah. to really focus on yourself. Like if you are graduating, you just spent four years like going through college trying to get your degree. So like focus on your career. Don't worry about like what somebody else is doing. Right. And if they're the right person you know they'll follow yeah. or not follow but like you'll be able to make it work. it'll work right I, I hate being the person to ask this because I hate people ask me but do you have plans for post-grad <laughs> <laughs> that's okay I have a I have a baby plan mm -hmm. but I think it might not work out you're gonna have so, a baby no okay. yeah. oh <laughs> y'all <laughs> no um I applied to, for the Fulbright grant to go over to Luxembourg and teach oh. English. I'm a semi-finalist. Yeah. A semi Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I find out in April, but with all the coronavirus stuff, I'm not sure if they're going to cancel like the whole program, you know? And I applied for something to go to France too and do almost the same thing. So mm -hmm. yeah. my future is very up in the air. Mm -hmm. Well, that's Hopefully. okay. Hopefully yeah. it'll all work out. I mean, I hope that this whole like coronavirus thing doesn't affect mm -hmm. it. But I am so proud of you. That's amazing. Thank you. Oh my God, thanks. <laughs> Not to flex. But, you know. <laughs> that is all we have for our show today. Have a safe and wonderful spring break. We can't wait to see all of your photos on Instagram. Thank you for joining us. And remember, you look cute today.